Oh my god. Yes! <laughs> get a get a train. Get a train! Hello everyone, what is going on and welcome back to my channel for another video today. Now in today's video I am going to be showing you a Black Ops 4 gameplay. Now if you regularly check out my channel I just want to thank you for the support. On the Infinite Warfare video I posted yesterday I was not expecting to get many views but it was actually the most viewed video I've had in like maybe it's about 3 or 4 videos and that's really surprising to me. Uh, the fact that IW get pulls more views from even Black Ops 4 but I mean it is what it is. I can't really say I'm surprised massively because obviously I've built my fan base on people who enjoy Infinite Warfare and Black Ops 3 and obviously I mean most people enjoy BO4 but there's a select few who just uh, prefer Infinite Warfare so yeah thank you for the support on that video. Now before I get into this gameplay I just want to quickly touch on the fact that um, if you didn't know already or you don't follow the District 7 YouTube channel or on Twitter or anything or you don't follow me on Twitter, uh, yesterday me and five, four of the members of D7 and uh, WRV decided to go into a hardpoint game because uh, the new hardpoint playlist makes it go up to a thousand points so we thought what could we try and go a thousand and all in a hardpoint game like win and we decided to do that and we got a first try so if that's something you would like to see you can either go into the district 7 uh, youtube channel and watch it there or i could re-upload it here for anyone who may want to watch it uh, who doesn't like isn't sub to the d7 channel so yeah just let me know about that now in today's gameplay I've got a, I think it's a 42 or 43 gun streak using my typical swordfish class and like you'll see in this video like if you just like, like the connection was clearly good in this like I, I think I had pretty good connection in this gameplay I'm not going to say like it was amazing connection because I mean I've never had amazing con for ever since I started getting like booted offline but it was still pretty decent I was using just the normal um, high caliber hybrid mags and the operator mod with reflex I firmly believe I will put good money on that being the class the best class out of other swordfish maybe I'd say if it wasn't Nuketown or if it wasn't Nuketown or Firing Range, I'd probably take off hybrid mags and then throw on either Quick Draw, Long Barrel or FMJ. That's really preference, but obviously Quick Draw is nice ADS fast. The Long Barrel is really nice because you increase the one hit, uh, the sorry one burst kill potential. But FMJ is really nice on this game because it just destroys armor instantly. So if some kids wear an armor, you got FMJ. And this is if it didn't have it on. Which is just a lot better in my opinion. So I'd probably run FMJ if it wasn't Nuketown. So, but yeah, I was using, I believe, Scavenger and Gung Ho as well. And I was playing as Battery. Now, Battery is probably my favourite offensive specialist rather than, like, support or something like that. Because, like, Crash is kind of a support specialist. So is Recon. But I don't really like Purify. He's not really my thing. Ajax, I don't really like. Talk is kind of fun, but it's not, like, it's not tactical as such like it's just it's a bit of a meme to be honest like just putting a random shield down and just head glitching the hell out of it but i do like battery because i prefer objective game modes in this rather than team deathmatch so having a war machine really does help when clearing objectives and her little grenade watch charge is pretty damn fast is really effective too if there's some guy sitting in a corner some guy sitting in a window maybe he's got a torque shield he's got barbed wire or there's a mesh mine or you just you know he's pre-aiming you with an lmg just toss a grenade in there and that's the problem sorted I uh, I was using UAV count and drone squad in this, which is normally my go-to class setup for going for actual gameplays. If I was solo, I'd probably run UAV, probably drone squad, and either chopper, sniper heli, or strike team. But since I was in a four-man, I just run UAV count and drone squad. Now. Drone Squad, let's have a talk about that. Drone Squad is an amazing score streak on this game. For only a thousand points, you get, I think, three or four Talon or Vulture like streaks, like from BO3 and IW, or follow you around and just basically pick up the scraps of what you can't. Now, you might think, wow, that sounds amazing. For one thousand points, that's really good. Now, don't get me wrong, it is amazing, like, points value, but there's one bad thing, and the bad thing is that it will take your kills all the time like, as much as i'm grateful for the fact that it'll save me and let me go on the higher streaks uh, i looked at the end of this and i think i got 15 or 20 kills with a drone squad now yeah again some of them would have might have saved me from dying like i might have just put the last bullet into some kid if i was one shot that's nice don't get me wrong but i know i could count up at least five or six times of this video where i could have like just killed somebody normally with me gun but the drone squad decided to take the kill anyway which would have made the um, gameplay a lot better now that's the thing with lethals on this game lethals either do amazing and just like rack up so many kills when you need it or they'll do nothing when you don't like 
when you actually need them to do something, they'll not do anything. They'll just sit there. Your club will just sit there in the sky, not doing anything. Or your drone squad will just start staring at people. But I would recommend running new AV counter drone squad. I would recommend this whole class set up for Nuketown because as scummy as it is, you can just sit on a blue car or sit in... Well, I wouldn't say the window because I don't really sit in windows, but you can just head glitch the hell out of blue car or anything on this game pretty much and just pre them with a five-round burst assault rifle. They're not really going to pick you off it unless like they are just a general better player or they're French because they've got the connection on their side. So having said that, we'll let you watch the rest of this gameplay. Thank you so much for watching if you're still here. If you're like, obviously, did watch the world at the end. Uh, like, comment and subscribe. We very much appreciate it if you do like Call of Duty Black Ops 4 content and Call of Duty as a whole. I will go back to IW and BO3 and no, we'll not go back to World War 2, no matter what I'm saying. So having said that, thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one and peace.